All right, yo, welcome back to the channel, man. Looper Norris, another one of these videos every Sunday going over the most epic topics out there that got the internet buzzing and break it down in my own way, depending on what it is and how I feel about the situation. Something usually through the internet, I feel like that's the best thing because that's how everybody knows about whatever that thing is. Before I start today's video, I'm gonna go over some of the music that I have coming up. So of course, Waldo, the one song I've been talking about all month long all of last month this song's dropping for december 4th that's the official day for it i have a track dropping for december 14th i'll talk about that track after i drop waldo for december 4th make sure you check that track out i also got an album i'm currently working on i'm getting pretty close to completing this one along with the December 14th track that I'm dropping. Once Waldo's out, then I'll tell you guys about basically everything that's coming up after I drop Waldo. So stay tuned for that track dropping for December 4th. Subscribe to the channel, like, comment. I got a lot of content and a lot of music coming up. So if you like what you're hearing, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button. After a long year of debating backlash against both sides, both sides just going back and forth with each other like it's a, a rap battle or it's like a boxing match and they're trying to sell the fight man finally the presidential debate it's over it ended like a couple of weeks ago donald trump has been named as the president of the united states for the second time not too surprising I i'm not gonna lie to you man from my perspective yeah there's definitely a few things i had to say about this one everything before it during it so before i start breaking this one down i just want to say i am canadian fully understand that as a canadian whoever ends up being the president of the united states doesn't really affect me and us canadians overall but like the states the most powerful country in the world so anybody who becomes the leader of the most powerful country in the world i feel like it affects the world altogether just so much things runs through the usa when you think about the world like as a whole the amount of money and power the type of army that the usa has when you think about like warfare between the countries all around the world the usa it definitely matters in terms of like who's the president it based off of like how it affects the world the rest of the world it's not like any other country you know what i'm saying like this is the states right they're involved with a lot of different things when it comes to the world like continuing to spin other countries that have the same type of effect towards the world i'm thinking countries like china russia you could even say india a few european countries or you could even say europe just as the continent the usa is right up there with all of those uh countries so whoever ends up being the president even though like you know living in canada us canadians it affects us too right and we're the neighbor country like as a canadian i'll definitely say like it doesn't affect us as much as like americans obviously but like what I'm about to say about the whole presidential debate, the election, you know, everything happening before, during and after. I think it, it was important for me to say that before the Simpsons, they got this one right. Ever since Biden pulled out of the race to become president and Kamala Harris took over as a candidate, possibly becoming the first female president of the United States in history. It sort of seemed like this turned into a gender battle between the two. And it's definitely not because there is a lot of men that were on Kamala's side the whole time. So you definitely can't say it was that. But it really seemed like this turned into a gender battle. Like all the men of the United States or just like everywhere, even outside of the United States. There's a lot of people that were putting bets on this type of thing, which is crazy that you could even bet on something like this, legally bet on something like this. It really did seem like everybody who was taking Trump's side were men and everybody who was taking Kamala's side were women, which made it a little bit strange. I know like once again, it's not like the actual case. 
it's just uh, funny how a lot of these things turn into that. You know what I'm saying? And it really shouldn't be like that. But based off of everything that happened after the election, it really did seem like that. It almost like it manipulated the election just a bit based off the votes. In my opinion, I think it affected the votes just a bit. And I think that's the worst way to like select a side when it comes to something that's like super important like this. But it definitely played a part, especially with like the advertisements and the promotion for both sides sort of targeting certain groups around the country, right? Um, trying to get like a certain uh, demographic to take one side just so you get the votes. It helps you win at the end of the day. I, I sort of wish that it didn't work like that. People were voting for one side because of like what they're capable of doing if they were to win instead of just voting for somebody because of their race and their gender. So like maybe in the future, people think about that a little bit more before they vote. Maybe the winner for like the next election or whoever becomes the president next, it's more of like a suited, the person's more suited for the, the job instead of just picking the most like popular name, uh, you know, and like turning it into like a popularity contest. So honestly, like I get why it sort of turned into that, like a popularity contest or like a gender battle between the two. A lot of women, taking Kamala's side and a lot of men taking Trump's side. A lot of people are against Trump and for the right reasons. I'll honestly say like there is definitely moments of Trump being accused of uh, being racist, uh, sexist, just being like one of those types of dudes that just sort of like I'm the biggest person in the room. I look down at people who are weaker and smaller than me. Like I feel like Trump gives off that type of vibe for most cases, you know, and one of the main reasons why a lot of people are against Trump and why they don't like him. A lot of the things that he'll say too, like I feel like Trump's a little bit of a comedian at times and there will be like serious situations that he will not take serious at all and sort of turn into a joke. Honestly, that side of Trump will get a lot of people on his side, turn those people into fans of Trump. It's a little bit of a weird situation with that, right? The one thing that gets on a lot of people's nerves is the exact same thing that's like helping them get votes at the end of the day. I've noticed noticed a lot of these podcasts, especially the comedians that are running it, they have like their podcasts. So perfect examples I'll use just because it's going to definitely help my statement here. Joe Rogan and Andrew Schultz. These are two comedians, podcasters. I mean, they both do a lot of different things, but they're mainly comedians. Joe Rogan, famous for doing like a million different things, a CEO for a bunch of different companies. This guy runs a podcast too, and it's one of the most famous podcasts if not the most famous podcast in the entire world at this moment and he was able to get Donald Trump on his podcast and that video is probably at 40 million views now that shows you how powerful Joe Rogan's podcast is and Andrew Schultz not as strong in terms of like the numbers the fame but he definitely pulls big numbers too when it comes to his podcast both of these comedians got Donald Trump on their podcasts they're able to do that which is pretty crazy and they're like comedians talking to like other comedians most of the time i think kamala harris went on joe rogan's podcast but she passed andrew schultz podcast she didn't want to go on his i found that pretty interesting why she would turn down andrew schultz what i'm thinking is maybe she thought he wouldn't take her serious thought maybe he would just make jokes the entire time joe rogan's a little more serious compared to like Andrew Schultz. Andrew Schultz, he'll crack jokes a little more often than Joe Rogan. Maybe because he's a little bit older, but just like Donald Trump, they had like an hour and a half, two hour conversation about a lot of different things, not just about the election, but just history, a lot of stories Donald Trump was bringing up. Same with Kamala Harris. And I think just interviewing the two, just paying attention to like the personality from both candidates, right? From conversations that have nothing to do with the election. I think a lot of people and a lot of people view these uh, videos like podcasts and it'll show the true persona from both candidates sort of like talking about different things outside of the election. So you sort of get a good taste on like what the type of persons these two individuals are, how it will affect the countries 
in the long run. The fact that a lot of these podcasts are getting more and more popular and more famous and they're sort of becoming the hub in terms of the promotion and the advertisement of all the candidates running for president, at least the like the most popular candidates running for president. And it showcases the type of persona, the type of people the candidates are. So you know who you're voting for. You're not just voting for somebody for their leadership skills. You get a like a good look of what kind of person they are in terms of like people skills. I thought it was a pretty interesting thing to bring up how they're gonna play a big role in the future when it comes to picking out the presidents for the future. I can definitely see it becoming a thing to go on one of these podcasts to help boost their chances on winning because I think Trump's uh, appearance on those podcasts definitely helped them win the presidential debate. I just found it funny how a lot of people were making videos on Kamala Kamala Harris supporters, their reaction to Trump winning and how they're just like freaking out and like screaming and getting all mad, like throwing a tantrum. I think that has to do with the hatred towards Trump. The fact that he's possibly a racist and a sexist and like I can definitely see the reason why you get like a lot of these videos showing the reaction to like Trump winning, the reaction of like Kamala Harris supporters. It's the hatred towards Trump. I lean towards the Trump side just because Trump has the money and power. He has like the businesses. He really knows how to like talk to people from like other countries and he has a lot of connections. But I can definitely see why people want Kamala to win. It would be pretty incredible to see a woman win for the first time in history. Seeing Obama win in uh, 2008 was definitely incredible to see because he's the first black person, first colored person to become president in history. So that was definitely a crazy moment. I don't know, it was kind of funny to see a lot of these videos drop after the election, showing people freak out because Trump won. He has a lot of resources and money to, to fix a lot of issues that will help not just the states, but the whole world in the long run. I honestly think the states got it right. It would have been cool to see a women of color win man maybe it happens in the future i don't know but at the same time it is the states i can definitely see the states rioting if trump didn't win for that same like reason the fact that colored person a woman winning the election i can definitely see the states going upside down a lot of the energy that you saw from the storm in the capital you know you see how that sort of turned into a riot i can see something similar to that happening if trump were to lose let's see how he handles the situation and all the issues that the states have at the moment. It'll be interesting to see what he does to fix that. I think the states got it right just because of the situation that they're sort of stuck in right now in terms of like helping other countries out around the world. There's a lot going on right now. Um, with like a lot of different countries all around the world when it comes to like money and like war there's just so much going on a lot of a lot of drama man this whole debate has been pretty crazy the back and forth between the two sides all of the debates having a lot of like celebrities involved for both sides trying to help either side win the debate it's been like an interesting year of that just biden pulling out of the race kamala harris jumping in kind of like setting everything on fire you know what i mean in terms of like people talking about the whole situation all of these podcasters helping both candidates with their viewpoints their arguments but finally a winner was declared it'll be interesting to see what happens for the next debate yeah it'll be interesting to see who becomes president next maybe obama becomes president hopefully they get the right person to run the country because it's definitely got to be the the hardest job probably the most dangerous job to have that's something that they absolutely have to get right because if they get it wrong the states go down i feel like a lot of other countries will follow along and go down with the states so hopefully us canadians we get it right with who becomes prime minister and you know we follow the same blueprint everything that can definitely turn the country around for all the right reasons uh, i hope we get it correct too and i know a lot of people are hating on 
Justin Trudeau, but I guess we're gonna have to see, man. Appreciate you guys watching today's video. Definitely let me know what you guys think about this whole election, everything to do with it, the ad like the advertising through the podcast and all that crazy stuff. How you feel about both sides, about Kamala and Trump. Let me know if, who you think will be the next president. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. I got a lot more content and music to drop in the future, man. I'll keep you guys posted. Check out Waldo for uh, December 4th. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for this video, man. I'm out.